let's look at a direct product of some groups. Let's start with Z2 direct product with Z3. And let's see if we can't find the order of the element 1, 1. Well, obviously, 1, 1 to the first is 1, 1. 1, 1 squared. And remember that the operation is really addition for Z2 and Z3. So we're going to get 1, 1 plus 1, 1. And for the first element, the operation is in Z2. That's going to give us 0. And for the second nut 1, we're going to get 2. 1, 1 cubed. The easiest way is to just add 1, 1 to the previous thing we had. So we'll get 0, 2 plus 1, 1 would give us 1, 0. 1, 1 to the fourth would be 1, 0 plus 1, 1 would give us 0, 1. 1, 1 to the fifth would be that 0, 1 plus 1, 1. That's going to give me 1, 2. And 1, 1 to the sixth. I take 1, 2 plus 1, 1. And that will give me 0, 0. So there we go. The order of the element 1, 1 is equal to 6. And in fact, Z2 plus Z3 is a cyclic group because if we go through it, every element of Z2 plus Z3 was just generated. However, if we look at another one, if we look at, say, Z2 plus Z4, let's do the same kind of thing. Try and find the order of 1, 1. Well, 1, 1 squared, 1, 1 plus 1, 1 would give me 0, 2. 1, 1 cubed would give me 1, 3. 1, 1 to the fourth is going to give me 0, 0. So in this one, the order of 1, 1 is equal to 4. And there are several things in there that were not generated by this. What's basically happening here, if you see it, these kind of end up in phase a little bit. That the first component is obviously going to alter between 1 and 0. You can see that over here as well. And then this goes 1, 2, 3, 0. What happens over here is that with the 3, because the 3 and the 2 aren't in phase, they cycle back to 0 at different points. Whereas with the Z4, they come back to 0 at the same point. This is a long, fairly explanation of something that's really pretty simple. If we take the direct product of two groups, of an element in G1 plus G2, all you need to do is find the order of each component in the respective group. And then take the LCM of those orders. So let's take a look at a slightly more complex group. Well, larger group. Let's say I had something like Z6 plus 
z8. And I want to find the order of, say, 2, comma, 3. Well, the order of 2 in z6 is 3. The order of 3 in z8 is 8. So the order of 2, 3 is the LCM of 3 and 8, which would be 24. Let's take another element in z6 plus z8. So if we want to find, say, the order of 3, comma, 6, the order of 3 in z6 is 2. The order of 6 in z8 is 4. So the LCM of 2 and 4 gives the order of 3 is 4.